Hi, and welcome to this week's Glowforge project. So I've noticed you guys really like the wave bowl, as you can see here. Yeah. <laughs> to my surprise, this was one of my this is my most popular video. So I'm gonna give you guys something new today. So I was on Etsy and I found something really interesting. I found a design by Swastik Designs Crafts. This is the website. This Etsy seller has quite a bit of awesome SVG files for sale, mostly stacked items, multi-layer items. And the one I will be showing off today is the multi-layer bowl scroll saw pattern. I will be also cutting it out of a maple, so it would be very similar to this piece right here. So I'm over here in my Glowforge dashboard. I already have the SVG file ready. And let's go over to the Glowforge and let's put it in our proof grade material. So over here on the Glowforge, here is my medium maple plywood proof grade material. This is what I'll be using to make the bowl. So back over here on the design, I'll place it down in this corner. Now I'm surprised it didn't pick up on the medium maple plywood. We can just go up here and select medium maple plywood. And adjust it to where it is fitting on all sides. Looks good. And I think we're ready to print. So it looks like this print will take four minutes and 43 seconds. So let's get to it. All right, so the cut is done. Let's see how it turned out. That is the most satisfying thing every single time. All right, we'll save that for later. Let's see how this came out. Got all of our pieces. All right, so I have a piece of tape to the side that I'm gonna pull all these off with. There's what it looks like without the scorching on it. It looks absolutely beautiful. Next, we just need to take off the scorching paper off the back side and we'll, we'll be ready for gluing. All right, so now I'm ready to glue this up. I have my main piece here on a piece of paper so I don't get any glue on my Glowforge. And then I have the other pieces over here that I'm going to precisely stack on top of this to make the bowl. Now last time I ended up just taking some Gorilla Glue and lining a bead across the edges. That ended up being quite messy, so I'm gonna take my time a little bit more to make it look more professional. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, check out this Etsy seller. I'll have it linked in the description below. If you're interested in purchasing a Glowforge, I have a referral code in the description as well. Leave a comment down below if you like this video and you if you want to see more like this. Please put a comment. Just do it. Just put a comment right down there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to also put a comment. I want comments. <laughs> um.